it goes Ian Russell. He'll get... Oh, he'll score! Easily stepped inside Alshon. Kick in behind the backs. Lamb knocked it back. It'll be picked up by Russell. That's the try. Well, Barefoot viewers, we're very fortunate to have uh, with us a 100-game veteran for the Illawarra Steelers back in the heyday when they were a very competitive side in the New South Wales Rugby League competition. And it's Ian Russell. And how are you today, brother? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Good. Mate, you played over 100 games, but how did Ian Russell find his way here to the gong? I think I was lucky. Um, there was a bloke, uh, Ron Henniker. Uh, he played with the Steelers about uh, 87, uh, 86. And um, I was lucky that uh, Brian Smith had a look at me and um, told me to come down and have a try. I was, I was lucky to, to be there in 87, 88 and 89. And, um, and I've seen a lot of good players come through. Um, I've seen a lot of older players leave. And they had a potential of good players coming up like Wishart, uh, Rodwell, Dave Riolo. And then we had a lot the likes of um, Izzard, Craig Izzard. And um, I was lucky to play with a, a lot of good players. Mate, what was your nickname in your day? Oh, just Russo, mate. Russo. Oh, they weren't very imaginative <laughs> down here at the Steelers, were they? No, no uh, it's pretty original. Uh, it's, uh... Just add an O on, that's just your nickname. A, yeah, exactly. Russell, short ball for Pincinelli. To use the Steelers' nickname, Russo, what about life after footy, mate? You know, uh, where are you now? What have you been doing? I've always had, always had a job and... Well, I've been playing since I've been playing. Um, I think it's from the old school. Um, used to train before, before you play, and um, and then go to work uh, after it. Hopefully, you make a Monday, but um, some sometimes you don't make a Monday. Yeah, I'm a scaffolder now, so uh, yeah, I've been doing that for a, a few years now. Um, and you're still getting up, scaling those heights. Yeah, I'm still doing it, but um, yeah. It takes, it takes a, a, a long time to get up there, but once you get off the ground, you, you, you're pretty safe. It all depends who you're working with. I've got uh, two kids, uh, they're soccer fanatics. <laughs> um, I'm right behind them. I like the sport too as well, and, and I'll support them anyway, you know, anyway in the world. Yeah. Uh, the guy that uh, kicked it will say he deliberately kicked it uh, in such a fashion. Back in our era, there were tremendous players, mate. Who were the best you played with? And who were the best you played against? I think, um, as a leader, uh, Chrissy Walsh, uh, probably the toughest front rower um, that I played with, and um, earned, earned a lot of respect. Um, I, I, well, he's got a lot of respect for, for me. Um, Andrew Farrer, uh, watching him, because he was a tough nut, you would have known, um, playing with him. And finally, Ian. Has rugby league helped shape you as a person? Not for sure. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's just the camaraderie that you get through the, um, playing with your mates, uh, the respect that you earn through um, football, um, and the, the respect that you get from other people off, off uh, rugby league. I, um, yeah, I, uh, I reckon it was the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Mate, thanks for joining us. It's yep. always been a pleasure. No. Well My done, pleasure, brother. brother. Take it easy.